Now, the new film, The End of Sex, follows a married couple who, without kids for the first time in a while, look to reignite their relationship. And it leaves Emma, played by Emily Hampshire, to try some very new things, like inviting another woman into the bedroom. Oh, take a look. I thought this was like every man's fantasy. Oh, yeah, yeah, in, in theory. Oh, my gosh. I, I should be getting a medal for this. This is like me being the best wife on the planet. Sorry, it's, just, it's, it's too much pressure. Okay, well, you don't have to worry about it because it's just dinner. She's probably come to her senses. <gasps> Do you have to go to the bathroom? I'm good. Are you going to stand like that? I'm good. <laughs> and Emily joins me now. Welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So listen, maybe not that moment, but this concept is so relatable to so many people. Like if yeah. you have a busy life, you work, you have kids, whatever, you may be stuck in a rut in your relationship. So yeah. how did this whole concept come about for you? I mean, it came from life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> personal experience. Um, <laughs> Jonas is personal experience. And Jonas yeah. is the um, other actor and writer in this. And so 10 years ago, we did a movie called My Awkward Sexual Adventure Together. And we were in our 20s, and it was it was about what we were going through then yeah. sexually. Um, and not with each other. Right. I was just right. that. <laughs> but then, so 10 years later, you know, we've been married. He's married with kids. And this is uh, talking about where, <laughs> yes, it's a spiritual successor in a way. And <laughs> it's where most people are in their marriages. And if they're not, we want to know their secret. Yeah. So, I mean, like Emma and Josh are in a funk, let's mm -hmm. say. What are the, what, what are some of the things we're going to see them experience? What's this journey that they're on? I mean, they, they go through a lot of sexual adventures to try and spark uh, that. So they uh, they go to the sex club. They do the the ecstasy. They uh, do the ecstasy. They try a threesome. It does not go well. <laughs> um, all of those don't tend to go well, um, but they try. Yeah. I mean, there, we see a lot of emotions, a lot of experiences that these couples go through. Mm -hmm. What do you hope that viewers see in them or, or, or find out through watching this film? Well, I guess it's what I took from it when I read the script and when I saw the movie. Um, it's, it's ultimately you try to be who you used to be in yeah. a relationship a lot after like years have gone by and what you realize is like you've both changed. Yeah. You're different people now and it doesn't mean you're worse off. You just have to kind of accept the new situation you're in. That's right. And it's right. quite a lovely resolution to the movie. Yeah, I love that. Well, also lovely uh, is that you are now an author. I mean, so this is like your first book, your first novel is out. Like, did, was it something you wanted to do your whole life? Was there an idea there that you have been wanting to write? Tell me about it. Well, I've always wanted to write, and I started doing a lot of writing recently. And then um, an old agent of mine who, during COVID, went off to com to work in comic books and pursue his passion for that, um, just approached me and was like, hey, would you ever want to do a comic book? He'd never thought of that before, but when he explained like the limitless canvas of a comic book, yeah. like I have a jello pool in my comic. Um, <laughs> I have wanted a jello pool since I can remember. <laughs> yeah. And normally and I now you don't have need that. one. No, now I have one. Yeah. And I didn't have to worry about like health and safety being like sanitized the jello right. pool or anything. So. Right. It's much easier to write it. Yeah. But tell us about Amelia because this is this she's the main character in the book. Yeah. So Amelia is the black sheep of her very famous witch family who have their own reality show it's not unlike the Kardashians <laughs> and um, she gets kicked off the reality show because her magic is not on brand um, <laughs> So it came to me when I was watching the Kardashians, yeah. and I, I was like, "This is a real family, like of sisters and of witches." Of, well, <laughs> um, and I was like, "What if I just happened to be born into this family? I would be the worst Kardashian ever. Yeah. I'd be kicked off the show." And so that's Amelia. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear more about that. But listen, we got to talk about Shit's Creek real quick because uh, I think it was only like a month ago, Eugene said that like a, another movie or. A 
reunion is always on the table. What can you tell us? Like, is there talks of that? Well, I mean, if Eugene's saying that, um, I, we're never going to do the show again. I know yeah. that for sure. But I would be very surprised if we didn't do something, something like a movie or a Christmas special, something. That would be fun. A Christmas special. I just made special. that up. I just made. But that I up. love it. That's a great exactly. idea. Let's put that into existence somehow. Uh, all right. Well, you can catch the end of sex in theaters nationwide this Friday. Emily, thanks so much. Thank you.